Leonard's about to walk in. Hi. Hi, Lenny. Are you okay? Okay. I should probably put my phone to charge because I have a low battery. I'm trying to film. I'm busy. You want to come in? Come. But you have to sit down like a good boy. I kind of want to put something on my head. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a favorite video. I have not done a favorites video. I don't remember when's the last favorites video I did. I stopped doing monthly favorites because I felt pressured to find new things and like force myself to try new things. Even if I didn't want to, even if I didn't have the time to, I was always constantly searching for new things that I could try to force myself to find new favorites and I just wasn't into that anymore. So now I just do them whenever I feel like I have a roundup of items that I really wanna to talk to you guys about. Today, most of what I have is like beauty and household items and of course my battery just started blinking because i've been vlogging all day as well so hopefully i can get through this video before my battery dies if not i'm gonna have to pick up where i left off once it actually charges so we're gonna go ahead and get into it most of this stuff like i said is household and beauty products i apologize for the lisp actually i don't apologize it's my liners so i have a little lisp when i wear them and i don't feel like taking them out um, so first I'm gonna get started with some fragrances and this is a huge deal because if you've been following up with my vlogs when I had COVID I know there's a, a condition for it when you have COVID and you lose your sense of smell and then your sense of smell comes back completely different that is what happened to me so you guys know if you've been following me for a long time if you know me you know I don't like warm scents I don't like vanilla I don't like sugary I don't like anything like that I like more like peppery, masculine, manly sort of scents and my scents has completely changed. Now all I want to smell like is warm vanilla goodness. It's so strange. So I have three perfumes here that I want to talk about. One of them is one that I've had actually for a long time. You can see here the liquid is like more than halfway done. This is a fragrance that I've always liked but I didn't like it as much as I do now. This is Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom. So this what I smell the most in this is the cardamom and a little bit of the mimosa. It smells, especially when it's on your skin, warm and sweet and just like creamy. That's basically the way that I wanna smell. Now, if I could describe it, would be like warm and creamy. I want everything just to be creamy. Like that's all I want. So this perfume, I actually bought the, I got the small size when I made an order for a big size of the vanilla and anise from Jo Malone. And I am 100% gonna buy a large size of this because it just smells so good. I catch myself wanting to wear it every single day. Like this is one one scent that I want constantly in my rotation. It just smells so nice, but still very fresh and pretty because of the mimosa. It's not super, like it's not vanilla or anything like that. It's just like yummy and cozy and warm and creamy. Next one I have to talk about is the Kayali Vanilla 28. So it's this one. Well, just as I anticipated, my camera died. So I went and had lunch. So the Kayali Vanilla 28. This perfume is the last perfume that I thought I would ever in my life I would own ever. Even the color of the liquid is something that I'm just like, this is not a me type of fragrance. But this perfume is... I think the notes are like brown sugar, vanilla, and something like that. So this fragrance is the sweet vanilla dreams that you could ever have. Like, it's sweet, it's strong, it's, oh, it's so freaking good. You can see I've used, I mean, I've only had it for maybe like a month and a half, maybe. And you can see I've already started to put like a little dent in it. It smells so creamy so yummy just so freaking good i love this perfume so much this has been like one of my go-to's and the last fragrance that i want to talk about this one you guys if you follow my vlogs you've seen me talk about this like six times already this is a fragrance oil from a brand called nemat and it's in the scent vanilla musk this right here if they made this in an actual like spray perfume i would probably never buy another perfume ever again in my life like that is how much i love this scent it is cr so creamy like the definition of like a creamy vanilla it smells soft and warm and not cheap it doesn't smell like that tacky cheap vanilla it smells so good 
I haven't had this for too long and I'm already to here on it and all I just wish I really wish that they would just turn this into a spray because I'm not like a huge oil fragrance oil person I mean I've been doing it because I love this but that's not usually my thing if they had this in a spray I'd buy the largest bottle that's how much I love this this reminds me of like a marshmallow fireside sort of scent if you've smelled that from Bath and Body Works that candle this is like the closest I feel like that I've smelled that reminds me of marshmallow fireside and it just smells so yummy oh just so good i'm obsessed and you can buy it on amazon it's oh it's so good so good okay now let's move on to body care so i have three products here to talk about um let's just start off with the body wash so tyler and i share a body wash like i buy one body wash and we both use it um, and it's normally either something like super soft and clean or something super like girly and feminine like florals So my favorite body wash to buy is the Olay brand That's just the one that I really really like and I normally buy the one that has like florals all over it If not I buy the one with the pump I can't remember what any of the names are But one of them has hyaluronic acid and then the other one is in this type of packaging But it's pink so because I've been buying that one for so long. I was like, all right, let me try a different scent We've tried now like maybe five or six of them. This one is the uh, exfoliating moisture sea salt this smells so delicious like it almost smells a little bit salty it smells so freaking good it's super hydrating the scent lingers these are my favorite because the scent actually lingers once you get out of the shower you can smell it on your body for a little while the bathroom smells like this it just smells so yummy if you've never tried the Olay body washes this one and the pink one I cannot remember what it's called those are definitely my two favorites this one is my current favorite then i have a body lotion to talk about and i've talked about this body lotion before i can't remember if i've mentioned it in a favorites but this lotion guys i don't know what they put in this because this lotion is freaking expensive i think it's like 36 or 37 dollars so once you pay for like shipping and all that you're paying like 40 bucks for a freaking moisturizer which is absolutely ridiculous when you can go to like target and get like nivea for like eight dollars it is absurd, but I have never, ever, ever in my life put on a moisturizer that is this good. The texture of it is unlike any lotion I've ever tried. You have to, like the reviews on it is like every single person is just obsessed with this moisturizer. It's not like greasy at all. And I have dry skin, so I like the feeling of moisturizer. This just keeps everything so hydrated it gives your skin like this beautiful glow when i put it on my legs my legs are so shiny it has i think like jojoba oil has a whole bunch of just like really good things um and this one is in the santal scent they do have it in a um like scentless version i like the smell of santal so i love this it smells incredible this is my second tube of it this is something that i will buy and buy and buy and buy as long as they make it this will be something that i repurchase forever it is the best best body cream ever now for the last skincare item i want to talk about this is something new to my skincare routine and this is the skinergy beauty 100 percent pure squalene and sunflower facial oil it's organic derived from olives and um yeah i've been using this pretty much every day as like what i use to hydrate my skin i'm like to here now and i swear my skin has been like glowier and more vibrant than it's been in a really, really, really long time. Like I notice if I'm like on Instagram and I'm talking like on my stories, if I don't use a filter, I'll get people writing me like, oh my God, your skin is so glowy. And I genuinely truly think it has to do with this because there's nothing else that I've changed in my routine. I don't wear foundation anymore. All I wear is concealer, bronzer, blush, highlight, and then like my brows, mascara, and a lip. I don't wear anything else on my complexion literally that is it and then this is what i've been using i haven't even been using a moisturizer on top that's how much hydration i get out of it it's a squeezy little bottle and i am a huge facial oil person i've always loved facial oils i've used the um maracuja oil i've used i just use so many oils and i'm a huge fan of them because of the amount of hydration that they give your skin this one i am absolutely loving and it's from a small latina owned uh skincare brand which you guys already know if i can switch like everything over to skincare or to small businesses i will gladly do it um and yeah all of these are 
small businesses. Okay, next up I wanna talk about a home scent. And you guys know I use uh, Scentsy wax burners. If, you're, if you've never heard of Scentsy, it's just like a, you buy wax burners. I have one, two, three, three wax burners um, in my house. One is in, in here in this office. I have another one that sits in my living room and then I have one in my bedroom. So I have a ton of fragrance waxes. I get so many of them. They're natural, they're like safe for kids and all that stuff. So I've tried out a lot of them. The one that I've been obsessed with lately is the scent Luna. I actually bought this scent for my best friend because her daughter's name is Luna and I was like, oh, that'd be super cute. I bought her a, a burner and the scent and when I got it and I smelled it, I was like, oh my God, I need it. And I ended up buying like four packs of it. It smells so clean and sweet, but soft. It just smells so good. I don't even know how to describe the scent. It's just absolutely delicious. If you own wax burners, you can use these with any wax burner. If you own Scentsy and you've never tried this scent, it is incredible. It also They also do like washer whiffs, which are like basically little beads that you put into your washing machine that all of your clothes will smell like whatever the scent is. And I've had that before as well. This is just, it smells incredible. So for another home product, this freaking surface cleaner. This is from the brand Caldrea, Caldrea, Caldrea. Um, and it's called Rosewater Driftwood, which is the scent and it's a countertop spray. So I was looking for just like a countertop spray in general. I didn't have any brand in particular. And I just went on Amazon and I just looked up surface cleaners or counter sprays or something like that and this was the very first one that popped up really good reviews and i ended up buying two of them and it smells so delicious it's slightly floral very slightly but a little bit masculine i'm assuming that's where the wood comes in it says this is scent number 21 sun washed as a beach cottage and light as a gull on a brisk Atlantic breeze clean marine florals like gardenia and lily of the valley merge with musk and white woods opening a window to a coastal afternoon This just smells so good and every time I spray it in like my kitchen or my bathroom I can literally smell it like it smells so incredible I'm so glad that I bought two of them so that I don't run out Quickly I use this every single time I surface clean whether it's in the kitchen the bathroom my office Anywhere, I all, this is literally my favorite. Now, I wanna talk about a lipstick. And I have not used this lipstick in a really long time because for the longest, I've just been using the Colors by Cora collab with uh, me and Dame Boss. That's like my go-to, it's my perfect nude, both of them, so that's just really what I use on rotation. But the other day, I was like, okay, let me put stuff away and pull out like a different lip product. So I went back to my Anastasia. Why is this wet? Oh, because my hands were wet when I opened it. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Nude Matte Lipstick. This lipstick is like the perfect peachy nude color for deeper skin. I am obsessed with it. It looks so good with cork lip liner, which is normally what I wear from. I don't know where it is. I think it's in like my purse or something. But this lip liner, it is like a creamy matte. And I don't mean creamy as in like hydrating because I don't feel like it's hydrating but it's like one of those like suede looking type mattes. It doesn't make my lips dry, but I also put lip gloss on top of everything, period. Like during the fall, I don't do it as much, but I am a lip gloss girl. I love gloss on top of everything. But if you're looking for a really yummy, like delicious, like peachy brownie nude, so good. All right. Last product that I want to talk about is something that absolutely changed my life. And it is this Thermacell like bug repellent. So I have in my backyard, I like spending a lot of time in my backyard. I like being outside. I get cabin fever very, very easily. And I start to get like very anxious if I'm inside for too long. So I like to go out on my porch every single day, whether it's in the morning or it's in the evening. I like to spend a portion of my day in my backyard. I have an entire patio set. I have string lights. It's super cute out there. But the mosquitoes, you guys, it is unlike anything I've ever felt in my entire life. I think it's because my entire yard is covered with like trees that go like this. Like here's my yard and all the trees kind of cave in. So the bugs are insane. Even my next door neighbor, she has a dog and she came back here. Like she brought her dog over to my yard. And within five minutes, she was like, oh my God, like you guys have so many mosquitoes. And she's like, I don't understand why because like, our fences are like this like she's on this side and i'm on that side and she says she doesn't have any mosquitoes so i think it's because the trees like willow into 
my yard. I have every citronella, everything you could think of. I have bug spray, I have tiki torches that have citronella in them. Like when I say I've bought almost everything, I've literally purchased almost everything. And someone ended up sending this, a couple people actually, told me to buy the Thermacell um, little thing. So this is a tiny little machine that you hold this button here and it turns on like that. And then you can see those little lights going around in circles. That means it's starting to like get the, the steam, like the little smoke that comes out of here going. It has no scent, which I really like because I actually don't like the smell of citronella at all. You just recharge it with a USB that you stick right there. And when you're going to replace, this is what the oil looks like right here. When you're going to replace it, all you have to do is take this out and buy inserts and put them in. It has made the biggest difference with being in my backyard. I have two of them and I put one on each of my tables or on each end of my table and it just, it's perfect. There's a couple bugs that will pop in here and there, but nothing at all like what it used to be, like at all. And I used to get, when I say attacked, I'd get bit on the side of my forehead, all over my arms. They'd bite me through my pants. Like savage bugs I have in my backyard. So this has been an absolute game changer for me. I love it. I ordered it on Amazon. Um, everything will be linked down below, by the way, obviously. Um, but I got this one on Amazon and I just, it's changed my life. Last thing I want to talk about. If you watch my vlogs, you've also seen this 5 million times. This is the daily planner from a brand called Two Tumbleweeds. I just looked up, I think, daily calendar on, on a... Amazon and this popped up. So this basically breaks your day. Let's see if it'll focus. This breaks your day up by what your focus is for the day, your to-do list, notes, your meals, your water intake, and then it has a schedule. So you can literally put every hour what you have to do. And without this, my life is a disaster. Because I have so much to do, especially creatively, my mind will literally go from, oh, I have to do this. Wait, but I have to do that. Crap, but I need to do this too. Oh, but I have to do that. Like I literally bounce from thing to thing to thing without allotting myself time to actually complete one task basically. So ever since buying this, like I have, you literally just rip off like the page once you're done with it. These are so many of them. And with this, I am so organized. I'm telling you guys, if you write this down, whether you take this to work or you're a stay at home mom and you're with your kids and you have to plan out things for your kids. If you put this and time block, your day with this i promise you well it helps me i can't promise you that it'll help you but it helps me so much with time management with not spending too much time on one project not like constantly stopping and looking at my phone or browsing the internet like i focus so much better with this little thing all right guys so that is everything that i wanted to share with you that i've been loving i know there wasn't too many products but these are all the things that I've just been obsessed with lately. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave everything linked down below along with my Amazon storefront. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.